But how is possible that a woman in a sexist system, a chauvinist system like ISIS, is going to join ISIS in the northern Syria for fighting or for ideology? This is a police group. This is a police, I'm not joking. This used to be a police in Raqqa. It's called Al Kansa. That's a very famous police group because it's led by women. This police group is going around, look at the women, look at you, you girls in this room, for example, and say, oh, look, uh, you have uh, your elbow outside. Oh, look, uh, your shirt is not enough right. The, the job of this police group, fam famous police group, is uh, condemn, attack other women. In Italy, I don't know in Germany, but, but it's happened that uh, when a girl gets raped, is a violation of the person. In, the, in Raqqa, it was not like that. In Raqqa, when a girl was raped, is a violation of the law and not the person. It means that the body of the girl is not in her possession. It's not her body. The body of the girl is from the society. This comes from Raqqa Mosul. These are propaganda for Europe of ISIS for women. The idea is to attract more women possible. Probably you already know, if you don't know, I tell you, one of the most famous foreign fighters from the UK, ISIS foreign fighter, is a woman. It's called Sally Johnson. Sally Johnson was a white rocker, used to play rock, rock music, mother of two children, and she became the most, the most dangerous terrorist of ISIS. This kind of propaganda say, well, it's in Italian at the beginning, but I can tell you that the women are really important in ISIS. That's what they said. The women are really important in ISIS. Women are like queen. They have to be treated very well. So you understand the contradiction, how they make propaganda and how they really react to the ground. But this attracts a lot of persons. This was found in Italy. 